This is me riding a horse in Hong Kong while intoxicated. Little did I know this ad will land me in prison for two months. Another one month jail time for sneaking into Ocean Park as a construction worker. Peace. <laughs> And swearing at pandas. Hong Kong is an orderly city, but because of British influence, there are several outdated and some would even say silly laws. So today I'm out with my partner in crime, Wesley, to break silly rules in the city. A couple of British content creators have done this, but in this special episode of Always Exploring, I would like to attempt the Hong Kong version. Wish me luck. For the first mischievous activity of the day, according to the law of Hong Kong, any person who uses or utters cries for the purpose of buying or selling shall be guilty of an offence. <laughs> but if you too loud, you could get a level 1 fine plus 6 months imprisonment. I'm ready to go to jail, but I just need something to sell. I have found my internship with Hong Kong's top selling blender. I need to get to know the product as soon as possible so I can start selling it with my big voice. Auntie is not too happy with my learning progress, but my crime committing schedule is tight. Time to make some money. When 是啦, since I'm using a loudspeaker to magnify sound, I get another 10,000 fine as well. With the big OK sign, I've officially committed my first crime of the day and also saw my first ever soy milk machine. Next crime happens in the most iconic public toilet in Hong Kong. If you send any obscene messages, like a picture of small tourists, you are committing a crime and you shall be liable to imprisonment for two months. The law was first introduced to Hong Kong in 1935. I guess they used to put obscene photos in an envelope and mail it. Hello? Joji, did you receive my... Fun pick. Yeah, boys, I can hardly see what it is. Can you just zoom in? I guess, it's too small. Let me, let me try and open it on my iPad when I go home. I can't really see on my phone. While we wait for Georgia to find her iPad, I take myself, small tourists, and Wesley cross the Victoria Harbour. It is time to find my own marriage counsellor in the famous bar street of Wan Chai, which is my next crime scene. You're going to be wrong. My wife says she cannot see. She said I'm too small. Really? She said she cannot see. Which part of your, your body is too small? That part, she said too small. Because all, everybody loves the big one. <laughs> okay, that was not helpful. She ruined my day. It is time for me to ruin hers by letting her know that she's currently involved in a crime. Oh, okay. Are we being illegal? Illegal? Yeah. No? Who Why? says? Why? Because we're drinking. Drinking? Yeah. Oh. Why is 
it's a, it's a pub, yeah? You are allowed to drink, yeah? 16, 16. 16? 16. Okay, cancel your ID. Yeah. While it's common sense that you need to be above 18 to drink in Hong Kong, since 1950, it's technically an offense to be drunk on any premises in Hong Kong. It's a real law. I should show you. It's a real law. No, I don't think so. Because it's illegal to get drunk in a pub. Yeah. I just told her it's illegal to get drunk in a pub and she's giving me shots. <laughs> In the past, this was like a docking station for all the British Navy, obviously, because Hong Kong was colonized by the Brits. The British Navy used to come here and get drunk and, you know, make such big troubles. And so there was a law that you can't get drunk in the street, mostly targeting to people like those ones. Just checking the record, this law has never been enforced, but it's still around. So don't be too cocky when you're drunk, because I think one of the girls in there will actually call the police and kick you out. 紅燈過馬路一定犯法啦,另外一樣嘢香港犯法呢就係隨便撳人門鐘,咁呢個非常之簡單啦,我只要揾一個地方撳人門鐘就得啦。呢度OK喎。撳呢間。喂,幫你買
When I was 18, I applied to work for Ocean Park. It was my dream as it was my favorite place. Unfortunately, small tourists didn't get the job. So 10 years later, I'm pretending to be a construction worker trying to get in for free to swear at pandas. <laughs> <laughs> so many things are distracting me from committing the crime at the park. I've been trying this game since I was born and still haven't won once. And they have been giving the same advice for 27 years. <laughs> Crime scene identified. My only worry is that I'll be stopped at the entrance because the staff would told me that there's no construction going on in the panda home. Okay, I'm through. I need to find a panda and swear at him. Once convicted, I'll get a fine and imprisonment for one month. Oh, <laughs> 我不會跟他們說,我不會跟他們說,我不會跟他們說,我不會跟他們說,我不會跟他們說,我不會跟他們說,我不會跟他們說,我不會跟他們說,我不會跟他們說,我不會跟他們說,我不會跟他們說,我